Hello, we're here today with Jeff Lamoth, the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Aptivo Therapeutics, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol APVO. Aptivo is a clinical stage biotechnology company focused on developing novel bispecific immunotherapies for the treatment of cancer. Jeff, welcome. Thank you, Craig. It's great to see you. I'm happy to be here today to talk with you about Aptivo. We've generated a lot of momentum this year with both data and in our pipeline expansion, and I look forward to sharing that story with you. Jeff, how would you describe Aptivo's strategic focus today, and what distinguishes your approach in the bi-specific space? We've gained a lot of momentum since you last spoke with our CEO, Marvin, in January, and our core mission remains unchanged, Craig. We are in an exciting phase of development and anticipate meeting important milestones in the months ahead. At our heart, Aptivo is focused on the development of bispecific antibodies, designed with the goal of delivering targeted, effective immune engagement while maintaining the kind of safety and tolerability outcomes intended to allow these therapies to be used either alone or in combination with other therapies. While our drug candidates are still in development and have not yet been approved, we're working with growing confidence that our differentiated approach, supported by compelling early clinical data, positions us to deliver meaningful therapeutic advances for patients with high unmet needs. What is new is the increasing breadth of our CD3 engaging portfolio. We have built a pipeline of CD3 molecules that share a common design foundation, our CRISP-7-derived binding domain. That domain is unique to Aptivo, and we believe it is a key to unlocking the balance between potency and safety. We've seen positive results in hematologic malignancies like AML, with mepletomig leading the way in the clinic, and we are extending that approach now into solid tumors. This isn't just preclinical theory, Craig. Mepletomig's performance gives us confidence that our design strategy translates to positive patient outcomes. We've always operated as a nimble biotech, staying lean, moving efficiently, and focusing on smart innovation with the greatest potential benefit to patients. But what really drives us is the strength of our team, a group that knows how to take programs from concept to clinic with discipline and focus. So, while our mission has not changed, our opportunity set is expanding. We're advancing a portfolio that we believe can deliver meaningful therapeutic benefit for patients, and that is exactly where we want to be. Now that portfolio strategy, Jeff, how does it balance innovation with clinical and commercial opportunity? When we think about portfolio strategy at Aptivo, it really starts with the patient and the opportunity to bring forward therapies in areas of high unmet need. Every indication we are pursuing, whether in hematologic malignancies or solid tumors, represents a multi-billion dollar market opportunity. We are intentional about designing agents with distinct mechanisms of action, that can address a broad range of cancers and improve outcomes for patients who need better options. And unfortunately, there are millions of patients with that need. Today, Aptivo includes six candidates, Craig. That's up from five last time we spoke. Three of these represent our growing suite of CD3 engaging molecules built on a CRIS-7 backbone. We believe that CRIS-7 is a critical differentiator. These are not off-the-shelf designs. Each molecule is engineered for the unique demands of its target tumor type and characterized by a low cytokine release profile, which has historically been a challenge for competitors in this class. This is important. Developing drugs with reduced toxicity burden opens the door for greater combinability with both standard of care and emerging therapies. Our CD3 suite includes mepletomig now in phase 1-2 clinical trial for frontline AML. We've been impressed with an 85%, I say again, an 85% remission rate and no cytokine release syndrome in frontline patients across two trials. We've built our CD3 suite with the addition of APVO442 for prostate cancer and recently announced APVO455 for multiple nectin-4 positive tumors. The other half of our pipeline includes three additional molecules with differentiated mechanisms including clinical candidate ALG APV527 and preclinical candidates APVO711 and APVO603. 
These molecules are designed to target a range of solid tumors. We've structured our pipeline to balance innovation with real-world clinical potential, giving us multiple shots on goal and, we believe, the potential to make a meaningful difference for patients. Now, Jeff, my pletamig continues to deliver promising data as you've just been outlining. What do the results mean for patients and how do you translate clinical success into long-term impact? Yeah, we are really encouraged, Craig, by the continued success of mepletamig in the clinic. Based on what we've seen so far, the data continue to validate everything we believe about its potential. The data show that mepletamig is demonstrating a strong safety and tolerability profile alongside meaningful clinical activity. In our ongoing frontline AML study of a valuable patients reported on to date, 85% have achieved remission across two trials. This is a compelling result in a high-need population where treatment options are often limited, especially for patients who cannot tolerate intensive chemotherapy. Equally important, our safety and tolerability profile is encouraging. For example, we have observed no cytokine release syndrome in frontline patients to date. Mepletomic's performance underscores its differentiated mechanism of action, designed to activate the immune system precisely against leukemic cells while reducing off-target effects. That precision is why mepletomig stands at the forefront of our CD3 engaging profile. It is the proof of concept for our engineering strategy. Looking ahead, we see real potential for mepletomig to define the standard of care in frontline AML. Of course, continued valuation will be key, but we believe these results are an important step forward, not just for Aptivo, but for patients who urgently need safer, more effective treatment options. This is the kind of impact we aim for, advancing therapies that change the conversation around care in some of the toughest cancers we face. Turning to execution, Jeff, you've got so much working for you and it's such an important area. But what about things like operational excellence in resource management and advancing a pipeline like, like Aptivos? What do you think there? Yeah, Craig. Well, for us, operational excellence really comes down to staying disciplined and focusing on the science, especially in a market environment that demands both agility and smart resource management. Through this challenging time, we've stayed committed to driving near-term value while expanding our pipeline to ensure long-term opportunity. We operate with a true biotech mindset. We're disciplined, we're lean, we're always aligning our resources to move the science forward. The funds we deploy are tied to advancing our pipeline or generating data that informs our next step. Our recent financing has extended our runway but has not changed our focus on capital efficiency and making smart strategic decisions where we invest. So operationally, we've built strong processes around trial execution, data readouts, and portfolio decision making, making sure we're positioned to move quickly when the data supports it. And that includes prioritizing programs that have the clearest path to value creation for both patients and shareholders. Personal question for you, Jeff. What excites you the most about Aptivo's next chapter? Sure, yeah. What excites me the most about Aptivo's next chapter is, is really the momentum we're building on multiple fronts. Starting with Mepletomig, we believe this program has real potential to shift the treatment landscape in frontline AML. The remission rates we're seeing, combined with the strong safety profile, reinforce our confidence that mepletomate could become a meaningful option for patients who historically have had few. And that is really where it starts for us and for me, our, with patients. Our goal is to improve outcomes and provide new options, especially in settings where treatment choices are limited or the standard of care still leaves patients at risk. Whether it is AML or a range of solid tumors that we are pursuing, that mission drives us in everything we do. As part of that, we're focused on advancing therapies that offer safety and tolerability advantages, an example being our CRIS-7 differentiation. We believe it can enable better combinations and ultimately better outcomes. We also have a high degree of confidence in our ability to execute, whether that is progressing our pipeline, making smart strategic choices, or building meaningful partnerships with all of these actions geared toward creating value for shareholders. What is unique about Aptivo is where we sit in the biotech landscape. We're at the intersection of strong science, operational discipline, and real clinical relevance. That gives us the opportunity to not just participate in the field of bispecifics and multispecifics, but to become a recognized leader here, 
anchored by two powerful and versatile proprietary drug development platforms. Final question, Jeff, and again, it's a personal one for you. What has been the most rewarding part of leading at this stage of Aptivo's evolution? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to think about this, Craig. When I think about leading at Aptivo, several things come to mind. First off, it's having the privilege of working alongside my dedicated and talented teammates and colleagues, many of whom have been with us since the beginning. This is a group of people who have built Aptivo with a shared sense of purpose, and it has been incredible seeing the team deliver milestone after milestone as we've taken programs from concept to clinic and seeing preclinical promise turn into clinical reality. Second, it's been deeply rewarding to see the company mature without losing the entrepreneurial spirit that got us here. We've stayed nimble, we've stayed hungry, and that is not something that every company can say. And third, and most important to me, Craig, we understand that we can do something big. We have positively impacted patients' lives and have the opportunity to continue doing that. Seeing patients respond to our therapies, knowing that in some cases we've already made a difference for people with very few options is a privilege that I value highly. And it is what keeps us motivated to do more, to push the science forward, and to reach even more patients in the future. Jeff, great to meet you today, and thanks for sharing the great Aptivo story with us. Likewise, Craig, it's been great speaking with you. We appreciate the opportunity to talk everything Aptivo and hope to share a new update with you again, perhaps around the end of the year.